Welcome to Giglad. In this video I will be guiding you through the process of setting up the Arranger and starting using it in just a few minutes. So let's start with downloading the resources. After Giglad is installed and started for the first time, it will show you this message. We prepared all the resources for Giglad so you can start playing immediately. Just press download all and wait until download finishes, then simply close the window. Now we see another window showing us a few options. If you already have the license, simply enter it here, otherwise you can register for a trial, which will be fully unlocked for 14 days. This is enough time for you to learn the software and decide whether it is the right tool for you. As I have a key, I will use it to completely register Giglab. As you can see, we now have our styles, presets, memory banks and sound library all in place and ready to use. The next thing we need to do is to set the audio driver and MIDI interface. Go to Tools, then Settings and navigate to section called Sound Devices, then select Audio. On Windows, we need to set the ASIO driver, while on Mac OS, Core Audio is the only driver type available. After selecting the ASIO or Core Audio driver, you need to choose the audio device you want to use for your inputs and outputs. Inputs are used for singing, playing the guitar or any other instrument, while the outputs are used for sending the audio from the software to the outside world, through the sound card so we can hear our playing through our speakers or headphones. In my case, it is the Claret 4 Pre for both, as this is my main sound card. Giglet can operate with many different sample rates. We suggest using 48 kHz as a best compromise between low latency and keeping the CPU usage controlled. Buffer size is practically the latency of your system. Every digital audio system has latency. The point is to make the latency small, so you don't notice it while playing. Here, you should use the smallest number that your system can handle. Going smaller means more CPU usage, so if you have an older machine, you can try different values to see where your system works the best. For now, let's start with 128 samples of latency, which is often the sweet spot. This amount in general produces around 3 milliseconds of latency. This is really nothing to worry about. We get the same amount of latency just by standing about 1 meter from the speaker. And the sound is really slow, you know. Here we can set the number of input channels we want to use. So let's set this to 4, because I have a sound card with 4 inputs. You may use different amount of inputs, of course. Then we choose the output channels. Depending on what type of sound card you are using, you will have two or more audio channels to choose from. In my case, I have my studio monitors connected to the outputs 1 and 2, and headphones to 5 and 6, so I will use those as my main outs. Now let's set the MIDI device. Here choose your MIDI controller or a sound card to which your keyboard is connected. In my case, this is again the Claret 4 Pre, which I will use as my main MIDI interface, to which my old Korg workstation is connected. If you have a USB MIDI controller, you will have its name shown here. Simply press any key or button on your keyboard or controller to check for the green light. As you can see, we have a connection, so everything is good to go. Giglad is able to use your favorite VST instruments and plugins, so if you want those to be available in Giglad, you first need to scan the plugins. Go to Tools, then Settings, and navigate to the section called Plugins. Simply scan for all the available plugins and they will show up in Giglet's plugins list. After we downloaded the resources, set up the audio and MIDI device, scan the plugins, now Giglet is ready to use. Select a desired program here, or simply use one from the prepared memory bank. And now we see another message telling us that loading times could be much improved. As Giglad uses a professional-grade sound library, it takes some time to load the samples. If you are playing at home and those loading times are not important to you, then you can leave it as it is. However, if you are playing live or you want your loading times to be as small as possible, simply create the exclusive memory pool here. Memory pool is like a rack for your virtual instruments that are always present and ready to use. Like the rack with all the hardware synths and samplers in the old days located somewhere in the studio. This is very useful as Giglad loads memory pool instruments only once when it starts, and then those instruments are available in a fraction of a second for all styles, programs and presets without need for Giglad to load anything in real time. We can now play those beautiful sounds from Giglad's sound library. As Giglad is an arranger, it has many controls that we need to be able to access without a mouse, so there are a few ways how we can control it. First, Giglad comes with the already set up PC keyboard map. 
This map is editable, of course, so you can create your own. To do that, go to Tools, Settings, and navigate to Modules section and select Keyboard Map. As you can see, there are many actions and functions that can be controlled with your keyboard. Simply click with your mouse on the action and press the key that you want to assign to this action. And this is now done. This key will always activate this action. Second way of controlling Giglad is by using your MIDI controller. If you have a controller with buttons and knobs, you can set it up the same way as shown with the PC keyboard. Select the MIDI controls here and again find the desired action, click with your mouse on it and then press the key or move the knob on your MIDI controller. MIDI controller buttons can be assigned to buttons, while knobs, sliders and faders can be assigned to tempo and mixer track faders. The third way of using Giglad is with a touchscreen. This is really self-explanatory, simply use it as you use your phone or tablet, this is very intuitive and easy. And this is it. Your professional software arranger is now ready to play, so let's try it! Now let me explain Giglad's user interface. Giglad has a very simple and easy to navigate user interface. There are four main modules. Arranger, Style Editor, Song Editor and Memory Pool. Arranger is what we actually use to play. 
This module contains three virtual screens that can show you many different things. File browsers for choosing your styles, preset songs, lyrics, and other files. Then having access to most used tracks of the mixer, accessing your voices and drum kits, seeing your lyrics and scores, also mixing your physical audio inputs like vocals and guitars. And finally, having all the information needed for your playing, like tempo, time signature, the currently played chord. As you already noticed, the middle panel is also used as buttons to switch what the browser is showing. So we can navigate by clicking on styles here, presets, songs, etc. Of course, all of those can be selected by using your PC keyboard or MIDI controller as shown earlier, so you don't have to touch your mouse while playing. Middle section of our interface is for the arranger controls. Here you have all the usual buttons needed to create music. Everything can be mapped to your PC keyboard, MIDI controller, or you can simply touch the buttons if you have a touchscreen. And finally, here is the mixer. Use your mouse or map the knobs on your MIDI controller to drive the faders up and down. Hide the mixer if you don't want it always present. Place it in the middle while moving the controls down, closer to your hand, and create your own layout that will suit your needs and your screen resolution. Giglet is very powerful and flexible. You can set it to perfectly match your system and your screen size. Giglet has a very powerful recall management as it has programs, presets and banks. Program is a patch that holds all the settings for an instrument. For example, you choose your favorite piano, then you add a reverb, then the EQ and compressor, so you want to be able to recall all this with just one click. And this is possible because you can save it as a program. Giglad's official sound library made by Dynamics Audio contains 168 programs. Preset is a snapshot of the complete arranger. Presets can save the complete state of Giglad or just some parts of it. You choose. For example, if you set your style, tempo, transposition, melody instruments, effects and lyrics, then you want to be able to recall all this with just one click. You save this as a preset. Also, if you want to recall only the style, tempo and transposition, but not change the melody parts, you can do this as well by creating a preset that saves only style, tempo and transposition. The possibilities are limitless. Banks are fast access placeholders for all your resources. Every bank has 16 memory locations, and those locations are shown on the main interface, so you can access them easily and see what they contain at a glance. Each memory bank can store styles, programs, preset songs, lyrics, so you can always have 16 buttons ready for use in front of you, ready to hold the most important resources to be available for fast access. There are so many ways how memory banks can be used. This feature alone will have its own video explaining everything in depth. Giglet has a fully featured style editor. It has a piano roll MIDI editor just like any other digital audio workstation you probably used to. You can draw your MIDI notes or simply record your playing, the same as with any other DAW. Style Editor offers you all the tools to create your own styles from scratch or edit, tweak and revoice existing styles. It plays Yamaha style format so you can import, revoice and play many of the available Yamaha styles. However, we included more than 300 styles so you can start playing right away. Style Editor is very powerful and complex so it has its own video explaining everything in depth. This is all for this quick start guide. See you soon in some of the next tutorial videos. Bye.